Hey guys, today I'll be showing you how to make fake fingernails the way you want. So, you'll need a straw. Most likely, the best one to use is a clear one, like the one I have. If you want to make all ten of your fingernails. Like, and if you want to paint over them. Then you have to have your favorite color. I don't think you can see that very well, but you have to have your favorite color of nail, of nail polish, some tape. If your tape's like like this, you can just like snip the strip in half and just use it like that. We'll get to that. And <coughs> some scissors. I've seen in other, um, in a video I watched on YouTube about using nail glue. You can use that too. But I recommend not using any glue at all if you don't have any. And this is the best way because mostly everyone has tape at their house already. This is the cheapest way to make nails or to get nails so your first step would have to be snipping the straw the way like as tall as you want if you want it like a little bit just above your put on finger like that you can snip it from the bottom of your thumb right here to yeah you snip it from right here if you want a lot like about that much you snip it from the bottom of your th uh, thumb right there <coughs> excuse me <coughs> so i just want it just a little bit above not too much. <coughs> Excuse me. So what I'm going to do is going to put it a little bit above my thumb. Like that. Not there. Yes, about that much you're gonna have to cut it right there so I want it like this much probably could see it better over here so I'm right over here like this much and so what you do next you take your scissors and just snip it like this like you can put it right there and just snip it halfway you can see it's it will form but you would have to bend it the opposite way so it won't curl as much and you see probably can't because it's clear can you see it's right here? I'm uncurling it so it'll make the shape of my thumb. In another video I watched, it said this may take a little while, which it is. So if you're watching this and doing it along with me, I'll pause the video when I get. You can pause the video because I'm just. Yeah. You can pause the video right now, so you don't get, so I don't get too ahead, because this is my first attempt, so you go ahead and do it. Okay, I'm back, and I did it. All I needed to do was step on it with my shoe, and as you can see, there. It's 
flattened out, sort of, but it's still curved. If it's a little big of with the width of your thumb if, or your other fingers, if it's a little bit too big, then you can like snip off the edges a little bit, which is what I'm going to do. Okay, so I did it. So the width of my so it fits perfectly with the width of my thumb. The next step, see you can see. Oh, uh, you can't see. There we go. So the next step is to make whatever side curved so it matches the bottom of your whichever finger you're putting it on. You just have to curve it. So it won't hurt. Or anything like that. So I've curved mine. Pretty sure no one at school will be able to tell. Or no one at home. If you want it square, you can leave it like this. If you want it round, you can cut it where it's round on top. Like, I would want it. Just a little bit round. Like so. Ah. Okay. Next step is to take your favorite nail polish color. And so, what you would do is you put the, or you could put the nail on first, which I'm going to do. Here's what I do. I take some of this, not too much because I know just a little bit. What you want to do is you want to like bend it like if you were trying to staple something I mean not staple something but put something up with tape like that I guess solder solder so it looks like a straw and if it's higher than the fingernail if yeah, if it's taller than the fingernail like mine is, you just snip the, you just snip it, or cut it. I don't know why I say snip it, but I do. Okay, so I've cut it to where it's about the same size as the nail. Then, what you do is you put it on the finger you want. And then, that's how you put it on. If it'll stay. Mine sort of comes off, but I can fix that. All you need to do to fix it is, pretty sure, sure, that, oh, that you just need to put some tape around it, like over it, and plus it gives it a shiny coat too, or make it look like it has a shiny coat. So you take it off, put it like that, sort of. And if you want, you can. It's probably if if it doesn't stick, it's probably because you have you already have no polish on. 
if you have nail polish you can remove her, then you can um, take it off. Take off the nail polish that's under. But if this doesn't work for me, then I'm fine with it. I do not really care. Oh my gosh, I don't know which side is to go. Okay, here we go. Stick it on, like so. And then you cut the edges if you want to make it a clear coat. The reason I don't put it on after is because I don't really like it that way. Yeah, can't get it. Okay, so when you've got it on, just like regular, when you're regularly painting your finger now, you just take nail polish and stro the strokes go towards you so it go this way or any way you want but I just heard that they go towards you Okay, so when you've got that done, you're finished with your nail. And then once it dries, you can put on another coat because because it's like tapes under it. If you put tape under it, so you get it, yeah. And if there's a little bit edges. Like, sort of, just a little bit that are shown. Here's what I would do. I'd cover up those parts, too. Even if there was a little bit tape showing, I'd cover up that. Then you can take them off whenever you want. That's why I suggested using tape instead of glue. Because then you just waste and waste and waste and waste the glue. So that was my tutorial of how to make fake fingernails. I hope you like, subscribe, do whatever. So, bye. See you guys in my next show if I have one. Bye.